As you guys can see, today was Harper's first day of third grade. Um, Enzo just woke up from his nap, so we're about to make some lunch. Um, and then probably like get dressed and stuff. Then we're gonna pick apart from school, and then we're gonna go straight to swim class. Hold on, take open the tripod. So it's a busy Monday. I was being a bit lazy. Wow, this tripod is so good because I literally just heightened, lengthened the height. Um, I was being a bit lazy this morning. I was going to take a nap, but I decided not to. So I just watched Enzo take a nap and we laid in the bed together. And I just was like, on my phone, stuff like that. But I'm about to figure out what I'm going to feed him for lunch. I think I'm going to make some nuggets and stuff. Um, and I'm trying to decide... I probably just pick apart something on the way to some <laughs> sunscreen. Whoa, what was all that for? But hold on, let me get the air fryer, please hold. I love you, baby. Can I turn on Sam and Bob down here while I put something in the air fryer for you to eat the lunch? Because you gotta eat the lunch because you love food. Yeah. This is literally his second time watching the movie. And when I tell you he watches the movie, I'll put a video of him right here watching it. I put it on my Instagram stories. He literally doesn't blink. He just sits there like this, like mouth open, the fly gonna fly in and everything. I don't know why he likes the movie so much. He doesn't even watch like kid stuff that attentive this is his show i put it on for him when i just need him to take a step back and chill so we're watching it again today it's only two o'clock and we're already watching the movie again but it is what it is i need to figure out what i'm gonna put on um but like i was saying i let him take a nap i was originally gonna take a nap with him but i'm just trying to see how this schedule works first because obviously this is new to us with harper going to school i'm trying to hopefully get him to sleep until 8 a.m that way i could like just make breakfast get her lunch ready and then feed them both breakfast at the same time um rather than we'll wake them up and feed them breakfast at the same time rather than him be down here with me while i'm doing stuff you know what i'm saying so yeah, it's kind of just how our day is going, trying to figure out the schedule. And I'm also trying to figure out how filming is going to fit into this because you guys know I want to get back to doing Wednesday videos. I fell off again. I know, I know, I know. It's so hard, y'all, with two kids. Like, it literally is exhausting. And I just, like, I don't know when I have the time to film. And it's like, I can do it on the weekends, but I try to tell myself to take off on Sundays. Like, don't work on Sundays. So it's like, go out with your friends on Saturday, take off on Sunday. Monday through Friday, you being a mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know when to fit everything into my schedule. But I think because I stayed up today, tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Harper School, put him down for a nap, film while he's sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Like, something like that. Wait, y'all. So, I'm back to tell y'all how Enzo just went in the snack cabinet, got himself a bag of cheese doodles, and brought it to me and, like, threw it at me as if, like, telling me, girl, open it. So guy is eating his cheese noodles because clearly that's what he wanted and he is tearing them up. Alright guys, so we picked up Harp. Harp said she had a, she, when I asked her after school, she was like, I had a bad daddy make any friends and then she sent her talking to me, but she actually does have friends. Harper thinks that <laughs> in order for her to be able to call you her friend, she has to ask you, hey, do you want to be my friend and you have to say yes. So we're just talking about her day. Um, she had a little productive day. She just finished her lunch in the car, which works out right before swimming. Um, and we're just on our way to swim class now. Um, it's so hot outside. It's 94 degrees outside. Literally, when I was going to go tan, though, it wasn't hot. Like, I don't understand. Like, that's crazy. Hold on. Let me see what the weather is for the rest of the week. Um, I mean, we really have great. 
Yeah, what? Like online breaks. When do we have breaks? Like? You don't have class next Monday. I should have definitely tanned today. Got a little golden vibe going on, but I didn't because when I was gonna do it, it was cloudy. Now it's it's literally baking out here in these streets, like baking grease, okay, babes? It's so hot. When I went to go get her from school and I was standing out there with Enzo in the stroller, I was like, mind you, first of all, I'm actually driving and then <sighs> I drove to go get her from school and I had to park like a block away because a lot of people drove. And I was like, I'm not walking with him because it's too hot and I put him in his stroller. And I was standing there like, oh my gosh, it is so hot out here. Like, I was like, this is what she was playing in at recess? This is crazy. Yeah, I don't know. But we're on our way to swim class now. And then we're going to go pick up some fresh bags and probably run into um, another store so I could look for something really, really quick. And other than that, though, that's pretty much all that I got going on. Um, I had to pay some bills this morning again. I just whatevs but i got some gas I definitely got some gas and i put some air in my tire i'm being an adult, adult today i was putting air in my tire it was so hot i was literally out there melting but i was like i gotta do this i was like i literally have been driving on this tire for like a week and a half two weeks just ignoring that the screen was showing me that the tire was red like it was not very adulting for me so yeah we're on time though for a swim class so that's good because you guys know Oh, yes, you guys know I I hate. You. Hey, you want to talk to them? Tell them how your day was. Guys, look at my outfit. I look so cute. I got a little bow on my hair. I got a good day bracelet. It's so cute. My teacher ordered it for us Friday. Uh, um, uh, here, on Friday we're gonna have. So today I have four points. Yes. Love your hair like that. Yes. How are you gonna wear your hair tomorrow? Yes. You just wear your hair like that. How are you gonna wear it like that? My again? curls look so beautiful. They do. Okay, Harp, feeling yourself. This filter looks good on me. Girl, it is no filter on the camera. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Just getting everybody ready for bed because it's seven thirty. Um. All right, we'll see if your brother wants this. Um, so everybody's just getting ready for bed because it's about to be 8 o'clock and the night is about to end for all of us. I have a couple things to do for a day with Harp before I go to bed, but they gonna go to bed. So I got an Amazon package today. And I think it's something for Harp for school. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it is. Um, I just ordered a couple of things for her for lunchtime because I had like a bunch of these containers when she used to go to school and then I threw them all out. I don't know why I was tired of seeing them. Y'all know me, I'm a clean. And if I didn't got no purpose right there in that moment, it's trash. <laughs> That's like my biggest downfall. Um, so when I went school shopping, I got her this one from Target, which is just like a regular one. Um, like it's good for like a sandwich and like chips and stuff. It just has three compartments, but it's not good for things that like you want to keep cold or just I guess like other foods. So I wanted to order some off Amazon and when I went to Target, like all the Bentco boxes, ben Bentco, Bentco boxes were gone because like everybody was buying them. Um, so I couldn't find them there. So I just ordered some on Amazon, I'm gonna show you in a second. And then I also used these little ice packs. I got these from Target. I'll try to find them on Amazon for you. They're just like super thin ones. She said when she ate her food at lunchtime that the stuff was still cold. So I guess they worked, but they're just like regular thin ones. I have regular ones in the freezer as well. Um, so it's just really preference and then i have this this is her snack bag that no longer has her name tag on it already it's been one day um but it's like a silicone reusable snack bag i use these rather than buying ziploc bags because one they're just easier um dang i can't even get it open but this one's the snacks the snack one the snack size so i put the trader joe's pb and j things in here today that's what she had for snack so super super cute it's like ten dollars i mean in the long run it's cheaper than buying these black bags. So what I got from Amazon today is I got her this Bentco Modern Box. It has a protective film and this one just looks like this. And then you can also take the divider out to make it a big one. So you can put a full size sandwich, some sweets, some chips, whatever the case may be. So 
I like that it had this, um, which is why I really got this one. Um, and then I got her this one. She used to own this exact one, and it did come in handy. So I just figured I'd pick it back up. Ow. Oh, God. I'm cleaning. I'm trying to get the kids ready for school. Um, it looks like this. So I usually use this one like if I'm packing her a snack or if I'm packing her just like an actual sandwich itself or just a wrap. And then I'm going to put like a whole bag of chips in her lunchbox. So it's just like a smaller size and then the, the divider comes out like this. Um, or you could like move it in any of the slots. So this one's really, really good though for like snacks um, or just like smaller lunches. Hey guys, today is <laughs> Tuesday. I told you guys I was trying to figure out what my schedule was going to be now the harp is back in school and it's just me and Enzo so trying to figure out like when I'm going to film sit down videos to sneak those into the week and then also um just like what works best because I don't want to do it late at night but I don't want to wake up any early earlier than seven so yeah you don't even know why you're crying <laughs> 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 pretty much what are you crying for? Huh? What you want? You want to sit up here and play your thing? Um, so I only filmed one video. Uh, I finished filming it and then I was about to start the second one and then I dropped something and Enzo woke up. So that was that. But I got the important one done so that's all that matters. So we're about to go get... So we're about to get ready to go get heart from school and then we're going to swim class. Oh, we have to go to the post office also to drop off the um, a day with heart stuff. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to swim class. Today is just another makeup class from two weeks ago when we didn't go. Enzo, why? Enzo! <laughs> Enzo! You trying to figure out what that button does? Can you not press it? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. You wanna show them you being bad? Stop! <laughs> Toy. Um, I got a couple things there from Amazon. I only got two things. It's nothing exciting, but I picked up these little snack bags for her because I'm not sure you guys still look on one. But I also picked up these ones just because, like, I don't know. I wanted options. So these ones are more like of a nylon. Um, they're cute. I got them in black and white because the other ones were too colorful for me. So yeah, I just got these little options so that way. I could fill them up with things. Um, today she took animal crackers to school for snack. And then I got these sauce containers. They come in stainless steel cups and then unicorn lids. I'll have everything linked down below as always. And I'll also try to find like a boy alternative to these. But I got these in case like I pack her something that needs like ketchup, honey mustard, ranch, I don't know, whatever she may need. Um, I just got these just cause, cause sometimes adding stuff makes it soggy. So how'd you do that? How did you do that? So yeah, I just got those from Amazon. I'm gonna try to sit down this week and create like a back to school or like lunch essentials or kid school essentials Amazon thing on my storefront. Uh, can we not waste the paper towel? Paper towel costs like $32. Like let's not, let's leave the bounty alone. Thank you so much, son. Thank you so much, son. Thank you so much. Well, you're so bad. I don't get nothing done when you awake, you know that? You know that? Look at this. Look at this. Say hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go get ready to go get harp and stuff, and then I'll see you guys when we're in the car. Cause he's driving me crazy. You wanna get on my back? Come on. Why do you like this? Why do you like this? If you bite me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat your butt. Alright, hey guys, so we're currently on our way to swim class. Ow. Between the perks, the seatbelt, there's a lot going on. I literally cannot function without a tripod for the camera in the car. I keep forgetting to order it. And I told you guys I had ordered the other one and it, it didn't work out. So now I'm just SOL. For the meantime, yeah, the only reason we're going two days in a row is because we're doing that makeup class. Oh my goodness, there's a ghost in the car. Um, but something had crossed my mind. I was like, let me talk to my friends about it. So, like, basically, I was talking to Kylo. You guys know Kylo is one of my closest friends. You guys don't see him that often. But if you've been watching my channel since I started, you know who Kylo is. Um, but he doesn't live in the city anymore. So, we don't see each other that often. And we don't really call each other that often either. Like, we're, we've always been that type of friend 
duo where it's like we don't feel the need to talk but then like we will call each other and just be on the phone for hours filling each other in on our lives and like busting it up so we were on the phone the other day and we were just having like this long chit chat basically like you know like i feel like a part of adulting and really getting to know yourself is just realizing like this that jeep is going crazy it's just realizing like not everybody is going to be like you like they're not going to carry a situation like how you would they're not going to react to a situation the way you would they're not going to respond to a situation you would they're not going to treat you how you treat them you know what i'm saying like you know like i just feel like you could really save yourself from being like disappointed or just feeling a type of way by keeping in mind that people are just not like you and like i because i'm always one of those people like something happened and i would just be like damn that's crazy because like, i wouldn't do you how you did like i wouldn't do you like that you know what i'm saying or like my response would have been like that or i would have done something else i would have said something else and like i am i'm i'm an emotional person in that sense because it's just like when people do me differently than i would do them i like will automatically like shut you out in my head you know what i'm saying like from that point forward i just be like no like i'm cool because i don't feel like i don't feel like it's fair for me to be surrounded by people that won't pour into me the way i pour into them i hope i'm articulating myself well sometimes i feel like i can't think when i'm doing too many things at once but yeah like i just feel like you know you really could save yourself like the hassle of just being like oh wow or like shocked when stuff happens if you just be like you know like this is your purpose in my life and clearly i was trying to extend more to you and i realized that like that's not who you are you know what i'm saying and people just be doing anything send me Location, let's focus on this communication because I, I just need the time and place to come to you. Send me a location, let's ride the vibration. I don't need nothing else but you. At times I wonder why I fall with you, but this is new to me, this is new to you. Initially, I didn't want to fall for you, gather my attention, it was all for you. So don't take advantage, don't leave my heart damaged. I understand that things go a little bit better when you plan it. Oh, so won't you send me your location, let's focus on communicating, cause I just need the time and place to come through send me your location let's ride the vibrations i don't need nothing else but you i don't want to fall in love off a sub tweet so let's keep personal i got a lot of cool spots that we can go tell me what's the move and i got you i'm only acting like this cause i like you just give me the vibe to start in. Oh, I might make you mine by the night then. Send me your location, let's focus on communicating. Cause I just need the time and place to come through. Send me your location, let's mind the vibrations I don't need. Come and vibe with me tonight. I don't need nothing else but you. I don't need nothing else but you. Ride, ride, ride. Come and vibe with me tonight. I don't need nothing else but you. Nothing else but you. so good that was my first meal of the day and it's already like five o'clock but anyways so i'm actually about to fold enzo's laundry really quickly i didn't get to harper's closet yet her class is just a disgrace and i'm gonna get to it i'm gonna get to it maybe tomorrow i gotta find her something to wear though i'm folding enzo's laundry and i just thought i would show so like since enzo's clothes are so tiny i mean now they're not really super tiny but they're small um i've always used like these storage cubes what is that i don't know um these are from ikea because i put his stuff in the 
like smaller ikea mom dresser i also use a dresser for harper and stuff um i just feel like it's the perfect size for kid clothes because i'm one of those people like if a dress is not full i feel they need to shop and that's not good when it comes to kids because they don't need a lot of stuff and i also um have been getting him like all new pajamas and stuff so what i do when it comes to enzo's clothes um i do the roll method that way like i got a lot of stuff from cloud island i didn't show you guys because like it's just pajamas and stuff like it's nothing exciting but what i do is like, if you hold the item up and like you do like a uh, a half full put an arm down another half full put this arm down and you just give it a little roll like this if you put all the clothes like that it makes it so you could see the clothes that way when it comes to getting them dressed it's just way easier um and you could like just pick rather than shuffle through everything so i separate everything by what it is so like onesies long sleeves pants sleepers stuff like that uh this one has to go and i packed up everything for jay so i can give it to her tomorrow i cannot believe he's this big like baby clothes are so small and now he's a big boy <laughs> um but i'm still i still have to get him more jammies and stuff it's just you guys know if you have a son it's like they just think that dinosaurs and trucks and all types of stuff like that gotta be on everything and it's just like it does not i assure you like we like grays we like blacks we like cool normal stuff um and then when it comes to like sleepers like this i just fold it like this he doesn't really wear these that often um because like when he goes to sleep because he sleeps in a sleep suit um he just wears a onesie. I don't think I've ever showed you guys the sleep suit he wears. Hold on, let me grab it just in case you're curious. He wears this to bed. Um, it's 2.5 TOGs, which means thermal something something. I don't know. But basically, it means how warm it is. So this is like a thicker one. Um, and I got this one because my house is always 70 degrees. Like, that's just a normal temperature here. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. And this one is advised for 68 to 73. So, yeah, I just put him in, like, a t-shirt or a onesie underneath this. This is why you guys don't ever see him, like, in fancy pajamas or anything. And I really like this one because you could have them wear their feet out. Or you could flip it in and it's, like, having socks and has grippies. And you can also tuck their hands in so it just makes it super super foolproof and once that gets on him he knows it's time to go to bed so yeah and i also have another one from a brand called ergo pouch um that one's pretty much the same as well because i had to find that brand because love to dream has been out of stock recently so yeah oh, this one has feet like he doesn't wear these i don't know why i bought them i guess i bought them because it's about to be winter so since it's going to be like chillier in the house um I don't know because he literally never wears them i don't even think he likes them to be honest oh, i love these little sweatpants i can't wait till he wears these um so yeah um but after i finish putting his clothes away um matter of fact, i'll put a picture right here of what the drawer setup looks like once everything's folded and stuff but once i'm finished doing this i'm actually gonna put some nails on and get myself together because steph and i are just gonna go out for like some drinks or whatever you guys know me and steph love us a little thursday shindig i just feel like i just prefer it like it's not too many people but it's people outside you know what i'm saying but it's like it's very low-key people so i'm all dressed i'm just waiting for stephanie first of all she said she was supposed to be here at 8 30 and it is 8 57 hate waiting on people and she knows it but we don't even know where we're going yet so i guess it doesn't matter but i just had my hair pulled back in a little half up half down i don't know something new something fresh for the girls i have on this top this is from my outfit online oh my god i have a tag stabbing me that's not cute and then i just have on my army fatigue pants from a local european and because we're not getting dressed up and it's thursday i'm not wearing heels so i have on my black and white dunks and i'm just carrying my dewer bag my dewer bag is crying to be put down but it was already all my stuff in there oh matter of fact where's my wallet where i'm going with no wallet when did i have my wallet oh when i went to the bank so yeah i'm gonna catch you guys when we get to our destination just i need a drink i deserve me a couple of drinks oh my gosh this week that i have had nuts and it's only thursday but let me put harper's charm on her little big bag because that's what she's asking me to do
about to get the plate on. Good morning, guys. We had a time last night, okay? We had a time last night. Nights, me and Steph's. They be starting off so innocent. And sometimes they just go left. Like, it's always the nice that we don't plan for it to go left. That it's like, damn, these ain't the same. Um, these ain't the same livers we used to be using back in the day, okay? Okay. Say, ew, puppy boy. Here. I'm gonna eat for lunch. Here. Um, so we went to the Winston. That was our first stop because we've never been. And it was cute. It was true. It was really empty. It was probably literally six people there. Um, my girlfriend told me it's very like iffy. Like sometimes it's lit on Thursdays and sometimes it's not. So we went there. We just had uh, some double shots. Here, let me get you, you want me to give some pretzels? Let me give you a snack because clearly you ain't going to let me talk to my friends. Um, so yeah, we went to the Winston. It was true. We had a double shot each of uh, Don Julio Reposado and that was disgusting. That was literally nasty. Then we had a double shot of Casamigos Reposado, which was to me a little more tolerable. But they didn't have like a lot of like drink selections there. And I don't know, me and Steph just never are like cocktails kind of girls. Like it's either we drink a wine or we going all in. <laughs> So, yeah, we did that. Should have got some food, though, because I heard the food is um, kind of good there. Um, but then we went to the club. It doesn't really classify as the club on Thursdays, though. When we go, like, it'd be empty. Um, but my girlfriend works there, so we just was hanging with her, got some hookah. Then Steph's boyfriend came, and I feel like that's when everything went left. Like, me and Steph had had maybe, like, two rounds of shots with my girlfriend, but when he came, it was like, another one, another one, another one. I was like, damn, we should have just bought a bottle. Because like, we didn't originally buy a bottle because I was like, it's just us two. Like, we're not going to finish the whole thing. Um, but definitely should have the way that the, fl the shots was fun. Got to go eat this restaurant. It was closed. Then we were going to go to the strip club. Then we were going to go to the strip club. The strip club was about to close because my other girlfriend worked at the strip club. So excited to go to the strip club. And then um, that didn't work out. And then we ended up going to Gino's. Y'all, I've never ate Gino's. I'm from Philadelphia. I've never ate at Gino's. That's some real tourist stuff. We was at Gino's until like 4.50 in the morning. And we all looked at the clock and was like, the time go forward? What the hell happened? And Steph was like, I've been up since 5.30 this morning. Like, we just was sitting there talking and eating. The cheese fries were good. Uh, the cheese steak. I don't feel like I could I could do without it. Like it's definitely not the best cheese stick. I like like hood cheese sticks, you know. Like I like my meat chopped up and stuff like that. Um, so Kahlo and I have dinner reservations tonight, and instead of me getting ready for dinner, we're at the freaking mall, and he's taking his jolly old time. Hurry up! You're cutting into my get ready time. Okie dokie. Um, so yeah. Rather than me getting ready, doing my makeup, figuring out what I'm gonna wear, we're at the mall, which is an hour away. Just living on the edge. Just <laughs> yeah, just doing the freaking most per usual. Kyla is coming here to buy a sweater that cost an arm and a leg, literally. <laughs> literally. Not them towing cars in the parking lot. Not there being two Gucci Fiat's. I still don't know what I'm gonna wear, and I don't have time to find something that I wear in the mall. Ah, Got us right up in here, right where we need to be. I told you, it's parking right there. Do not fret, babe. I ain't walking this whole mall. Fret not. This mall is big for no reason. It's big and dumb. I don't know what I want to wear. I just want to wear heels. I look so woo today. Who told him that? Like, who told him that he looks cute? Hey, you. How are you? Um, we made it. I know. Hi. It's, it's so I know. You're an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the male you. This is big facts. 
chocolate. Yep, good fellow. What? Bitch, you're so smart. I know, child. I'll come outside. I know how to get stuff to me, okay? <laughs> Toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mind. I look for peace, but see, I don't attain. What I need for keeps the silly game we play. Hey yeah. guys, it's Sunday morning. Technically, I should be editing and Sunday should be going up, but, but it's not because I got a late start to the day. So I don't feel like stressing myself out, but I'm gonna put it up tomorrow on Monday. Labor Day, anyways, everybody's off, so it'll be fine. But I just got some really cute jammies in the mail for Enzo from Old Navy, and they're so cute. There you got one. Oh yay! Enzo's the vlogger. So I got him these. It says heads in the cloud and it comes in a set with this and this. I think this is so cute. He's gonna look adorable in that. And then these ones have like the numbers and colors. Um and it came with all of this stuff in that set. Um that one was like a five pack, I think. And then I got this little polka dot one, but it came in a set. I wasn't really pressed for the polka dot one. But look at these neutral monsters. I'm dying. And I love this one too. This one looks, excuse you. This one looks so modern and cool. I got him some Halloween ones just because, because I don't know. Yeah, it is what it is. And then he got these dino ones, which are super cute too. You showing them your camera? <laughs> you dropped my camera. We're going to fight. Whoop. But Sunday said it'll be fun to set. Can you stop throwing all my stuff on the floor? But yeah, I'm just cleaning up really quick because I destroyed my room and stuff last night getting dressed because I was rushing. What did my camera do to you? I'm going to clean up really quickly, get myself together, and then I'll talk to you guys. Look at you. just don't know how to act. They don't want to step. You're grown. Yeah, you try and kiss them. You don't kiss me like that. That was a lot of time. That was a wet one. That was nasty. All right, the day is over. It's nighttime. I just put Enzo um, in his crib for bedtime. And me and Harp just had another seafood date. It's our second time eating seafood together this week. And I have zero regrets about it. But I just wanted to come on here and recap you guys with the last couple dates so you guys obviously saw that i was with all of my friends this week um it feels like my upper lips not moving i think it's because i don't have moisturizer on though um you guys didn't really see like jay in the vlog just because we were like catching up catching up for real um so a lot of it was just like us talking and hanging out with the kids and stuff um but i saw all of my closest friends this week which was like super super <sighs> refreshing because when I spend time with one a lot I'm just like dag I miss my other friends and it's kind of hard to balance it because Jalen and Kylo both live in Maryland now um but it was really really nice to literally spend one day with each of them and when we never did like a group thing because our schedule like didn't align I don't know why I look wonky right now but um yeah like we never did like a group function or anything but it just was really nice to have like a day with Steph a day with Jay and then a day with Kylo um like I feel like basically I got all my my energy out of me for the rest of the summer you know like well summer's already over but you know what I'm saying like now this summer is coming to an end i'm ready to just sit down and grind so yeah it was a really nice way though to spend my week it wasn't planned like at all but i really really enjoyed just spending like one-on-one -on -one time with each of them because they're literally my closest friends and i love them to pieces so yeah, and it was so the funniest thing is is that even though all of us are so 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 similar and like we'll do all the same things my date with each of them was completely different like none of them were the same like me and steph's uh outing on thursday you know me and steph love a good thursday outing we went from like 
we went and like just got straight shots like we never did a cocktail nothing it just was like straight double shots of tequila and then it turned into double shots of honey i don't know don't ask me don't judge me okay and hookah and music um and then cheese steaks at five in the morning and then me and Jay, I made the homemade sangria for us. And we just sat in the house hanging out with the kids. We went for a walk and stuff, um, doing stuff like that. And then me and Khalil did like a nice, really, me and Khalil did like a really nice dinner. We went to a steakhouse. We went to a gay club. Um, so it's just like so bizarre. I feel like my eyelashes like always look, like you guys see what I'm talking about? Like I feel like this eye always looks like it's way more like, curly and this eye always looks like more straight i don't know to fix my hair but me and enzo just woke up from a nap so that's not really a priority right now um but obviously i missed sunday's upload and that's just because life was lifing and then i was gonna get it up on labor day the life really started lifing like to the point i just was like i can't even do it um and then i was gonna get it up tuesday and life was still lifing, which I'm gonna get into in a second. Um, I just was like super, super tired. I just wasn't there mentally to sit down for a couple hours and edit and like be creative on top of that. Um, I just, I wasn't able to focus on editing and stuff, which like obviously you guys know, yeah, I could take the time away, but I just always feel like, I feel like I let myself down when I don't abide to my schedule. You didn't even want me. Now you see me uh, talking to the camera. Now you want me. Okay, cool. Basically, um, Sunday last week was very regular. You guys know I went out. I saw all my friends. I was super, super happy about that. Like, life was just normal. And then Monday comes about, um, like, Monday, like, midday, mid-evening vibes. Um, and basically, my grandmother was missing. So... Me and my mom were just pretty much dealing with that for the last couple of days. If you if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know like we had like a missing person file thing. We talked to the cops, like everything. Like my grandma like vanished into thin air. So that became like priority number one. Um, and then like on top of that, even though I was willing to edit last week's vlog, um, like in order to distract myself, I just was so tired because I was getting no sleep at night. Like I was having like the craziest dreams once everything happened. Um, I just was exhausted, like wasn't eating, like very like just stress just hit me the last couple of days. Um, so yeah, so that was going on. If you follow me on Instagram, you pretty much saw that. I basically just was like really focused on that. Obviously, it was probably number one for me. Um, and then yesterday, uh, we did find her. She's safe and, un and unharmed, which is a great thing. Um, and that happened yesterday evening. But even though we all went into panic mode on monday she was already missing since the 26th of august before that obviously so to us like every single hour counted you know what i'm saying um so yeah so it was like over the weekend it just was like oh no she'll she'll pop up and then she didn't pop up so yeah i just was dealing with that type of stuff you guys know i don't know i heard the Mer mercury's in retrograde for some reason when mercury goes into retrograde the most bizarre things always happen in my life like literally it'd be kicking my ass every single time i'm not even gonna lie to y'all um and i just was really you know being a family person um but yeah happy to report the good news that she is found safe and sound so me and my mom were basically like detectives like i was her co-detective uh, me and my mom make a good team when it comes to like doing things so yeah that's why you guys didn't see me on sunday my hair looks nuts and as you guys said i was so stressed out i put all my eyelashes out like i still have the eyelashes at this point i'm about to put them back on because i look crazy but let me just give the eyelashes a break for a little bit because uh i have no eyelashes now so now i have to let them regrow because you guys remember before i started getting eyelashes again my lashes were like so nice and full and now they're just not full but yeah so it's wednesday uh enzo and i are just about to go eat some lunch downstairs and probably wait for um enzo and i are about to go eat some lunch sorry i thought my phone was ringing and then go get heart from school um i just feel like i haven't done anything productive you know like i just feel like the last few days it has just been me home doing a lot of stuff but like i haven't done anything for me so that sucks but you know it's cool it's whatever um i have a couple errands to run this week that we'll do together random stuff i have to go to the craft store i have to go to the supermarket as always and um i think what else i have to do 
I'm gonna go feed me and do some lunch and then I will catch y'all later. I don't got nothing to tell y'all later either, but I'm gonna catch y'all later anyways. I ain't gonna montage nothing to tell y'all. I'm not gonna montage nothing today because I ain't doing nothing exciting. Can you not mess my pictures up? These are keepsakes. Yes, I'm gonna keep these forever. You can't mess them up. Look at me and my best friends. Ignore my nails, y'all. It's been a rough week. Look at me and my friends. It's not your camera. It's my camera. They're my friends, not your friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I knew them longer than I knew you. And you be all in my skin. Imagine that. Imagine that. You got the audacity. Want to say hi? Say, what's up, ladies? Say, what's popping? Good looking? No, you cannot have the camera. No. I don't want to see you up close and personal like that. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? Whoa. Say, hey, guys. I look crazy, guys. Literally. I need to make myself look pretty. Good morning, friends. First of all, let me tell you how I'm going to have the menus all over the thing. Luckily, I ordered a new camera tripod and it gets here tomorrow. Um... Hold on. Good morning, guys. It's literally 9:27 in the morning, and Enzo and I are out. Um, just oh, I thought somebody was standing next to me. Lock the doors. Um, but yeah, so we're just sitting in the parking lot because Enzo fell asleep on the way over here. Uh, I thought that if we came super early, he wasn't, but clearly i was wrong but we're just gonna run into target because i have to get some juice boxes for harp she ran out for lunch um and uh tomorrow i'm gonna go to like the actual supermarket i don't really have the mental capacity to do that today but i have to run into target to get some juice boxes and then what else was i gonna get in there I think that's it, honestly. Um, but I came mainly to Jersey because I have to pick up some stuff from the craft store really quickly. Um, because basically, so the girls like a, a day with heart business. It does really, really well. Um, like when I get around to posting the charms and <laughs> stuff like that. But when I do post the charms, they always sell out. Um, and they have they have probably done well over like 200 orders so far, which is really, really great for like two little kids, right? But of all the orders I've ever shipped, three of them have went missing. I and I know it's not a big deal. Like three out of two hundred, it's not that bad. Like and you, it, it's USPS's fault. Like it's not my fault. Like I shipped them the next day and stuff like that. So because of that, um, sorry, I thought my phone was ringing. Because of that, I just have to come pick up some things to like replace those ones that were lost because they ran out of those. They, they ran out of the stuff they need to recreate it so yeah that's why we're at the craft store um and then i think i'm gonna run to costco because i did the most adulting thing ever yesterday i got a costco membership online um i just felt like it was time like you know like because i do buy things in bulk anyways why not buy things in bulk and save some money because you guys know i'll go to target and buy things in bulk and my tab is 500 dollars so yeah Follow your dreams and keep going. Put your school water bottle in the sink so I can wash your one down. Oh, okay. Um, hey guys, so it's like way later in the day. We just put, well, I just put Enzo to bed because um, they didn't take a nap today. That's for one. And for two, his schedule is always a little wonky during Monday through Friday since we get up at 7.30 in the morning. Um, so there's that. So I put him to bed at 7.30 as well to kind of mimic that schedule. And again, he was tired because he didn't take a nap. Right now, I'm soaking my feet. I'm about to help her. She's not. Yes, right I now, am. Yes, <laughs> right I could. There's nothing to do. Can I have your eyelashes? If I had your eyelashes, I would never have to get my eyelashes. I want your have eyelashes. Ever, look at Harper's eyelashes, y'all. Look at mine. First of all, I just pulled all of them out. But I ain't got none. You're pulling um, your real eyelashes out, you know. I know, but yeah, I'm just soaking my feet because the bottom of my feet is a little rough, so I'm going to take care of that, and Harper is about to sit here and make some charms, um, and then I have to order groceries online, and I'm going to put something on TV for us to watch. So that's pretty much all that's going on right now. Um, look, did you see the new beads I got? Yeah. Only really these two in there. Rainbow! No, Mommy. i seen you. Oh. You've been, you been Okay, it. so yeah, I'm going to do that, and then... 
Harper's going to bed next. Oh, and I have to eat my dinner because I'm starving. Where's your most? I could turn something on TV. I don't know. And um, I haven't dropped it. I don't know where it is. Well, can you find it, please? I'm over here. Pretty, right pretty, here, please. Um, so, yeah. Let me take care of my feet because they're rough. And the bottom of my shoes have been, like, turning my feet, like, dark brown or, like, black almost. Not, like, my feet black. But, like, you could see that my foot is staining. So, I don't know what's that about. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to that together because that's not cute at all. Um, I don't know where that remote is, Harp. Enzo. I know, well, find it. So, I'll show you some charms that Harper does when she gets in her little groove. Harper is definitely like the creative one. She makes all the super, super cute girly ones. I know. I'm such a creative girl. I got it from my mom. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll come check with you guys in a second as soon as Harper finds the remote. So, if you want to watch on TV. 90 Day Fiance is not. Ooh, I know what I'm about to watch. I know what I'm about to watch. I'm about to watch, what is it, The Single Life on 90 Day Fiance? Something like that. I'm going to go tune into that. That's what I'm about to tell her. <laughs> that happened so quickly. Hey guys, it's Saturday. I didn't vlog all day yesterday because I didn't really do nothing. Uh, me, the guy, and uh, Steph, we are doing a hot girl walk. We're taking a break before we return. Um, but we're at Spruce Street Harbor right now. What are we at? Like 6,000 steps? We were in the city, so we just walked here. 6,083 6 steps. We were in the city. You're gonna spill your snack, guys. So we're just taking a little break to let guys stretch his legs, eat his snack before he gets back in a stroller. And we kind of figure out what's next. I think we're gonna try to film a video. We we're gonna do a truth or drink, but I don't have no alcohol in the house. So I don't know how is that gonna work out. Um, but okay baby hairs come on baby hairs so yeah here's guy say hi guy say what's up pumpkins say what's up pumpkins you eating your grapes i eat my grapes and my raspberries and my blueberries so i'm being so good so i have my feet hanging out the stroller like a big boy looking like you ain't got these on right right um I kind of want a milkshake, but that's so bad. I'm trying to get my body together before Stephanie's birthday trip. I think we should go to like Miami in like October stuff. See how much your flight is to Miami right now. We're going to Mexico. For what? For no reason. The lady looks The lady said. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to Never Mexico mind. the last week of September. Never mind. Looks like we're not going to Miami, guy. Come on, guy. Say hi, guy. Oh, my W so much. No, you can't get down. You think you could crawl? Here, take your nephew. Hi, Tiki baby. Hi, Tiki baby. All right, so we're walking. We're walking and talking and talking and walking. It's all this stuff on my camera screen. My ear itches. I cannot believe I think my ear infection is coming back. Oh, I look crazy without my glasses on. I got no lashes. Not an eyelash in sight. Emirates fly better. Look, guy. One day he's gonna be wearing your jersey. <laughs> See how I slid that in? That if we have another son, the probability would be higher that he's gonna be a star athlete. What's this? I've never heard of this. Oh, it's at the Hilton. All right, so, oh, this pimple is killing my vibe. So we're back at the house. We did five miles, almost 11. Well, my phone says almost 11,000 steps. But Steph's phone says 16,000 steps, so we don't know. But we got home, got Enzo fed, put him to bed. He's asleep now. Um, ew, I need to do my tools. My cuticles is dry. Oh, my toenail broke. Oh, no. Um, and we just did, like, a little Pilates. Well, technically, it was, like, Pilates, but it was more targeted for, like, diastasis recti because from having um, a baby. Because I'm trying to repair it so my stomach could be flat. And we did that for 10 minutes, and now we're gonna have some wine because ugh, I deserve it after the day I had. Pour us up. Ah, 